Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the new episode of Love and Marriage DC Season 3, Episode 3. Let's get right into it. I don't want to be in the same room. Okay, well, we don't have nothing else to say, right? We don't. We're not going to be friends, right? Let's get it right there. Finally, Joy and I agree on something. Nice talking to you. You can kiss your coat and leave again. No, we don't have to. The episode starts right back up with the men hanging out in this boxing thing, and Clifton is telling them how close he is to Carmen. And everyone seems to agree that it's weird for Clifton to be so close to her because one, they dated, and two, he's the taken man, so that's crazy. Jamie somehow brings up the fight between Ashley and Joy and quick starts to go off telling Black that, you know, if a couple is married and they're trying to keep it a secret, and if the wife is the one, in this case Joy, um, who tells someone, then that's who they should be mad at. So Quick is trying to say that Clifton should be more mad at Joy for saying it in the first place than he is at Ashley for repeating it. But nevertheless, Quick says that Ashley did apologize to Joy multiple times, and he says that Ashley sent Joy a very long paragraph, a long apology. He says that he saw the message, and Black is kind of on Quick's side. Then they go back and forth a little bit, but then Jamie says that he wants to make it possible for all of them to get together with their wives and meet up. That was that scene, and then in the next scene, Arena, Jamie, and Arena's mom go to some pet store. Arena's mom is, like, in love with some lizard that she carries with her everywhere she goes, and they're trying to buy, like, worms for that lizard. Ugh. Listen, I don't like animals. Not even dogs or cats. Is that bad? But anyway, eventually, Jamie tells them about the guys meeting up at the wrestling thing, and he says that, uh, he even says a little turtle at the pet store look like quick. But then Arena says that she recently saw Carmen and Clifton posting some videos of each other together on Instagram. And Carmen captioned it with my bestie. But it was like they were a little too close, a little too friendly. It's it's wrong. So Arena says that she wants to give advice to Joy because she's been there before. And then Jamie tells Arena that Clifton explained that Carmen is both of their business partners. Then Arena says, well, do you think that's okay? And y'all, out of nowhere, this became a huge fight in this tiny-ass pet store. Because Arena kept asking, do you think that's okay? And he says that he doesn't have anything to do with it. It was crazy. They're saying, you're not listening. But the issue is kind of deeper because then Jamie is a little resentful about Arena's old business partner. So he brings that up, who, you know, he used to handle her social media. And it it was bad, you know. So they need to, they need to get it together because this was a big blow-up. The next scene was nice. It was Ashley, Quick, and their kids going to do some indoor rock climbing. After playing a little bit, Quick and Ashley go sit down and he tells her about Clifton and Joy. She says that she was trying to build a friendship with Joy, but she is not anymore. Then he tells her about the the game that he's going to be inviting them to. Ashley's kind of low-key pissed that he invited everyone, but she does say that he can invite whoever he wants. Ashley then says that she wants to meet up with little Jamie because he's hurting, and Ashley relates to him a lot because of her relationship with her mom, so she wants to be the one person to tell him that it's okay that he's hurting and, you know, um, it's understandable and that he can move past it. Moving forward, Joy and Irena are taking some, like, professional pictures. I'm not exactly sure why, but they were having some fun. They then sip some wine, and they're talking. And then Irena tells her about the Instagram post and Carmen being all up on her man. She thinks that it's inappropriate. And she's genuinely saying this out of love to Joy and because she doesn't want her to make the same mistakes in her marriage that she did. Irena says that people have been saying that perhaps... The three of them are a throuple, but Joy seems pretty chill. She says that they've been told that so many times that she really doesn't care, it doesn't affect her. She says everyone has a different definitions of friendship. For example, she could say that Ashley and Alicia are fingering buddies. Huh? Oh my gosh. But yeah, Joy says she's okay. I don't believe it. I think it, this is not going to end pretty, but it is what it is. She does appreciate Arena's mother energy, but she says she wishes she would do that more with the group. Arena tells her about the game and asks if she's going to go, and Joy says yes, and says that she did reach out to Ashley via text, but she hasn't heard anything. Then we see Ashley. She goes to an appointment because she doesn't sleep. She can't sleep. She says that no matter what medication, treatment, method she tries, she just can't. And I was like, oh, okay, so maybe this is what it is. Maybe if she got some sleep, she would be nicer. <laughs> but the doctor tells her that she might be pre-menopause and her levels of estrogen may be low or something like that. So for now, they're going to take some blood from her and like 
do some studies and stuff like that to see what is going on. Then we see Jamie and Arena. They call Terry, a lady who's a life coach. So Terry comes and Arena tells her about Joy, Clifton, and Carmen. She says that she thought it looked bad when she saw that Carmen and Clifton were hanging out together. And Jamie says, yeah. And then she went nuts because I didn't see what she was seeing. And Arena says, but then he brought up what happened with my ex-assistant. And Jamie says, yeah, because he used to post pictures with this guy. So he thinks that it's hypocritical for Irina to care so much about this couple than, you know, when she did it herself. Then Arena says that there's been a lot of things that he has done in the past that she's completely forgiven. But the one thing that she did, he keeps bringing up every chance he gets. Terry says that neither one of them is truly uh, has truly forgiven each other if they keep bringing the same things up in arguments. So she gives them some advice on how to navigate future arguments. So hopefully they take that advice. Okay, then we finally see the Wizards game. They had a very nice suite there that they got. Alicia got is the one who got there first. And the first thing she does is talk to Quick and Ashley about Joy and Clifton. And you know what? For a couple who they claim is not important, Quick and Ashley keep talking about Joy and Clifton every chance they get. Damn. Jamie and Arena are there. Then Joy and Clifton get there. The only ones who said hello to them were Arena and Jamie. And Ashley didn't even turn. Like, she didn't even acknowledge them. It was so awkward. The most awkward thing I've ever seen. Then Jamie says, well, let's address the elephant in the room. <laughs> he's so messy he said is everyone good and Ashley says no of course not because apparently then she turns her head and says apparently I'm jealous of Joy and something else and Joy says okay so like would you like to step outside and talk about this and Ashley says yes I would so they step outside and Ashley says that she thinks it's foolish for them to be there because it's been about a month Joy says that she came to that Christmas party to move forward she didn't come with bad intentions and Ashley says that she was trying to talk to her Joy says that the problem was in that discussion was when Ashley threw the I brought you into this show that's when things went south and Ashley says well it's true I've been supporting you from the very beginning and Joy says well it doesn't seem like that so Ashley says we have a bigger issue now anyway y'all say I'm jealous of you I'm not I'm not intimidated there's nothing for me to be jealous about so Joy says okay so how are we going to navigate this moving forward how are we going to be able to be in the same room and Ashley says well I don't even know if I want to be in the same room with you actually I don't Joy says, okay, great, so we will never be friends. Got it. Let's move forward. So Joy walks back into the little suite, and Ashley says, well, y'all can go. Joy says, no, we don't have to go. And Ashley says, yes, you do, because this is my husband's suite. Then Ashley goes up to Clifton and says, and why are you going around saying that I'm jealous? But as soon as Clifton steps forward, Ashley goes off talking about, don't come close to me, get away from me, back the F up. And that was the end of the episode. Listen here, don't get me wrong, I do think that Clifton and his buddy Carmen are weird I think that whole dynamic is suspicious and I do think that Clifton is a little sassy like he likes to like you know be, just be sassy but at the same time Ashley she can't oh my god that lady needs to chill I'm not, I'm not even trying to be funny maybe she does need to take some naps because why is she so angry all the time walking around everywhere bothered and it's it's not a good look she needs to take some accountability for everything that she does she can't go up to the man and start screaming and asking him questions and then when he gets up to her face she want to talk about get out of my face you know what i'm saying so anyway you guys let me know what y'all thought about this episode please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch y'all next time you have a great one bye